But first tonight at 5.30, dozens of Johnston residents back in court fighting to not move back into their apartments. Now the owner says they've fixed the problems and it's time to get everyone back in. But in court, attorneys for the residents say there's still issues there and they want a federal agency to inspect the apartments first. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more on what's next for the residents. New at 5.30. Steve? Mike Caroline, as of this moment, residents will start moving back into the Park Plaza apartments Saturday morning, but that could change based on just one email. Can I have everybody back in Johnston Municipal Court? Correct. Judge Jacqueline Grosso decides when residents should move back into the Park Plaza apartments. I'm concerned about HUD. That's my concern. The federally subsidized building owned by Stay Away from the Cans LLC has been cleaned for mold for the last 10 months while residents stayed in hotels. The town and owners say the mold is gone. It's been inspected. But as we showed you earlier this month, the apartments still have holes in the walls and floors. Grosso toured the apartments last week. There are a slew of other issues, okay? I know it doesn't have any relation to the mold, but we have minimum housing standards in this town. The owner's attorney says they'll fix that after everyone moves back in, but they have a spotty track record. Stay Away from the Cans is partly owned by a $400 million company that owns Section 8 housing nationally called Boulevard Capital. We've uncovered dozens of violations and issues linked to the company. For instance, when Boulevard was closing on eight properties in Toledo last year, Congresswoman Marcy Captor wrote to HUD, residents were right to sound the alarm about Boulevard. The Lucas County Land Bank wrote Boulevard demonstrated an ongoing disregard for the safety, health, and well-being of the tenants of these projects. Officials in another city in Ohio say they briefly condemned one of their buildings because of 800 outstanding work orders. An attorney for Boulevard blamed the problems on previous on-site management, but said new management has handled the issues. A spokesperson for U.S. Senator Jack Reed, who sits on the subcommittee on housing, said Senator Reed contacted HUD to ensure they are closely monitoring health and safety concerns at the Park Plaza apartments and holding landlords accountable. The only thing that could delay residents from moving back in on Saturday is if HUD says they need to inspect the property. Right now, it's unclear if that will happen. Also new today, attorneys for the tenants filed in Superior Court seeking damages for what residents have gone through at the Park Plaza. The lawyer for the owner didn't respond to comment on that litigation. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.